Well, hello everybody. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular, and it's December right now, and it's a very special time, not because Christmas is coming up, but because I finished a challenge that I started on this channel. If you remember, I started a challenge in the year 2021 for you all, myself included, I'm part of the challenge, to buy a tenth ounce of gold every single month. And that doesn't mean to go ahead and get all the gold in January and then forget about the rest of the year. It was every single month you get one tenth ounce, tenth ounce, tenth ounce, tenth ounce, every single month like that. And until you got to the end. And then by just doing that little challenge and focusing on, on saving that little bit of money for that tenth ounce, you'll have over an ounce of gold at the end of the year. And so I want to show you my end of the year challenge complete. That's right. I have them all right here with me. So you're going to see every single one from the whole year. And you're also going to see my new one. Well, you're going to see a few new ones that I actually got because I went a little crazy. and I'm going to explain why. So here they come. four pieces. Why are there four spectacular? It makes no sense. Well, let me tell you a little story, right? So November 30th, I'm out shopping, right? And I had already bought my 10th ounce for November. So that mission was accomplished already for the month of November. But there I am shopping in November 30th and uh, I go to a coin shop and I find this little piece right here and I buy that for 230. And I also got this nice little, um, it's a Cinco Peso, little Mexican piece. So that's 90% gold. And I thought, hey, those were kind of cool. Now listen, Spectacular could have easily just said, oh yeah, I got this on December the 1st, this piece right here, and just, you know, been done with the challenge and that was it. But I am a buyer of gold, ladies and gentlemen. I believe in gold. I believe in silver, precious metals of all kinds. I'm a buyer and believer in them, okay? And I'm also not one to fool you all. So that's not my game, just so you know. I could have done that. Don't get me wrong. I could have done that. That's not me. You won't have to worry about that on this channel. I don't fool you guys and girls, okay? So that was November 30th. So like I said, I already bought my 10th ounce for November. Uh, that doesn't count. That didn't count at all. Literally the next day, right? December the 1st, I go out to another shop and I buy this guy right here for $218. This is a 2016 looks like. Let me zoom in real close. Uh, yes, 2016 little 10th ounce gold eagle. Nice enough, decent enough price, you know, 218 bucks. I was happy. Uh, these local shops, I like doing business there and, and uh, you know, talking to them and getting some history and information about the markets. And uh, just, it's a, it's a good vibe just going into those stores. So I love going in there and I'll spend a little extra money if I have to just to communicate and be a part of the, the fun in those shops, right? So anyways, that was really my challenge complete right there, December the 1st. But next day, no joke, next day I go into another shop and I see this right here, a 2020 Gold Eagle. Um, gold price had came down slightly, but luckily this shop was even cheaper than any of the other shops. This was $208. It says melt plus 18%, makes it sound like, oh, who knows what the price is, but um, you know they're willing to help you out there and tell you exactly what that is at the time. But 208 bucks for this one right here. And this is a 2020. So, you know, nice little eagle. Happy to have this little thing. So I actually, you know, got some extra pieces um, for the challenge, really, you know. But uh, for, you know, the purpose of the challenge, really only one piece counts. So this was the first one I got. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one in the video. But now you want to see if I have the other pieces, right? Because everybody's like, oh, spectacular. You probably don't really have all of them. You're probably selling them. There's no way you've kept them all, right? A lot of haters out there, I've noticed. So actually, I'm going to bring them all into the shot, all the pieces from the challenge. I started doing the challenge a little different here throughout the video. I started like keeping the price tag on some of the pieces and I thought, man, I should have did that from the get go. Uh, it is what it is. You know, I kind of was winging the challenge and the focus was just to get to 10th ounce every single month. And that is definitely mission accomplished. And that's why some have the, the price tag and the little things kept on them. Uh, what I probably will do is get them all into these little air tights because I love my gold and my coins that are collectible and valuable to me in those little air tights um, so I can just touch them and get my grubby little fingers all over them. But that should be, if my calculations are correct, oh shoot, let me get into the screen here. That should be 12 pieces. So let me see, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there is over an ounce of gold right here by just doing the challenge, by just, you know, buttoning down a little bit, um, stopping some of the nonsense spending, focusing on getting a little gold. Now listen to answer some of the other haters out there. Uh, oh, spectacular. You should have just got an ounce of gold and been done with it. Listen, I agree and I understand that an ounce of gold is technically cheaper, right? The premium is going to be less on one ounce of gold. But you really need to believe in fractional stuff a little bit, okay? For those people that, um, you know, buy your silver rounds, don't you collect some junk silver too? That's a great, great fractional option, ladies and gentlemen, for a cheaper price too. Um, fractional, you know, 90%. Now, with the gold, you pay a little bit more on the premium for sure. Yes, it is fractional. Um, you pay more. You know, we all understand that. Now, when you go to sell it back, and I'm, listen, I'm going to show you this right now because people just never understand this thing. All right, so let's go to my good friend here, the eBay, and we're just going to look at these sold listings. And you can see that 10 pounds, they're selling. This is the, the green right here means that they sold for that price. They're selling for well over $200, um, typically around the price. Well, some of these are actually more than the price I paid, $249, gee whiz. Uh, but, you know, they, they sell for a good price. There's no problem selling these things right here for the price that you paid, you know, usually if you know where to go. Um, you typically can get that premium back when you sell this 10th ounce stuff, typically, okay? Now, it's your choice if you go to a coin shop and you say, hey, coin shop, you know, I'm in a desperate need right now. I need to sell this gold right now. And they offer you spot or they offer you less than spot. That's always a possibility, right? Depending on the time of year, how bad people are trying to buy their gold and and uh, kind of like the consensus of the market at the time. You definitely take that risk when you go to the place like that, but you're getting your money immediately. You're not waiting for eBay. Also, you're not paying eBay fees, but there's other options too out there. There's all kinds of social media sites, guys and girls, that you can go to, build some relationships and get yourself into the gold game and into the selling game if you need to. If you never need to, then you don't got to worry about that at all. Then you're just waiting for whatever you're waiting for. Uh, maybe a uh, SHTF scenario, maybe a preservation of wealth down the year scenario, whatever the case may be. Don't be afraid to buy this stuff. Don't trust all the haters because they're just haters and they hate us because they ain't us. Let's be, let's be honest, right? They hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I had to throw that in there. Anyways, boom. Yeah, I did it. Um, I hope you did it too. I really do. And listen, if, if you are a late bloomer, you know, we got a lot of people coming to the channel constantly at different times. Start this challenge whenever you want. Shoot, start it in 2022. Just when you start it, really, 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 really try to complete the thing. Okay. And you know, you're going to maybe go crazy one month. Like I did, you're going to be like, Hey, I'm going to buy three in one month. And that's great. If you can do that, buy all the gold you can for all I care, right? It's a, it's a great investment in my opinion, uh, different investment than stocks and crypto. My goodness, you crypto stocks guys, it's different. It's a different type of investment. Sometimes we hate saying that word because you guys think, Oh, I make more money than the crypto. No kidding. It's different. But anyways, it's a great way to preserve your wealth. This stuff right here. Okay. So, but if you're going to get into the challenge, you know, get those two this month if you have to, if you want to, whatever the case may be. But next month, you got to get that one. You got to get the one the month after. You got to get the one, you know, following month. You got to keep going one each month. You can't let yourself slack and be like, well, I got two last month. I'm fine. The challenge is to get one a month, man. That's try to be, try to be really um, focused on that. And let's show some of these off, right? Because we're here and uh, it'd be kind of cool to reminisce a little bit. Uh, the first one I got was one with the Roman numeral date, I believe, right here. Boom. And this is actually really pretty. The toning of this right here because it just, I don't know, it's just like a different era when they were making those um, eagles. It just looks a little different in my opinion. I put another one up to it just to show you how, if you can tell, it kind of like looks a little different. Uh, it just looks better in my opinion. It looks more like the St. Gaudens double eagle like toning, doesn't it? I don't know. It just looks prettier. Anyways, yeah, I, I you know I, I went as crazy as I could. I went as crazy as I could. Uh, what else we got? We got um, that was the first, and then uh, got uh, this one. A lot of eagles. I went. 
that was a kind of available locally as Eagles. And when I branched out online, I was able to get these uh, 10 ounce Britannias. Those are beautiful. They are really, really pretty coins. Uh, let's see, here's another one, 10 ounce Britannia. Again, pretty, pretty coins. Um, more Eagles. I mean, you know, they're mostly Eagles, so I can't really show you much. 213 for this right here. So I started keeping the price tag on these. Uh, here's a Krugerrand. I actually got a Krugerrand for one of them. So you Krugerrand lovers out there, which, you know, maybe not that many of you. <laughs> I did get one of those. Yeah, they're cool little 10 ounce pieces. They're cool enough. Um, here's another one right here. And here is a 1986. So there you go. 1986 to 26. So another of the uh, Roman numerals there. Fantastic, right? Listen, I had fun doing this thing. This was a cool challenge. By the way, I've added all of these into a playlist, including the one that I'm making right now. So this will be in the playlist. So it'll be 12 different videos because, you know, there's 12 months in a year. But if you ever want to come here and reminisce, like sometimes I like to, and see the whole playlist and all the coins, you can go to the 10th ounce gold challenge playlist on my channel and you can see them all. And you can watch them in any kind of order you want. You can you can be like, hey, I don't wanna watch January 1st. You pulled January down here, and now you're watching February 1st, and then January about four or five down. You know, like, you know, the world's your oyster when it comes to this, but um, I, I wanna read this right here, what I kinda of wrote in the description so you can just see exactly what I wrote. It says, in 2021, I challenged my viewers to buy a 10 ounce gold coin every month for each month of the year. And you know what, it could have been a coin, it could have been, just a generic piece. It's basically a tenth ounce of gold. But it says the goal is to have 12 coins by the end of the year. Follow me as I take on my own challenge and promote the holding of physical gold by my viewers. So my viewers, I promoted you to get this gold. And I think some of you actually did it. And uh, bravo. And listen, hey, listen, round of applause if you were able to do it. Um, I think it's really, really cool and a good idea. Now, listen, 2022 is coming along. I don't know what we do now. You know what I mean? We, we completed the gold challenge. Do we keep going with something uh, more spectacular? What do we do? Uh, suggestions down in the comments. I would like to hear them for sure. But at least for now, this challenge is done. And like I said, here's a couple extra little bonuses that you can throw in there. You know, you've watched the channel, if I hope, a little bit, and you've seen that I bought more gold. Sometimes I'd buy an ounce of gold here and there in different months, and I still made sure I got my 10th ounce, though. I really wanted to, to finish this challenge and, um, you know, kind of promote this this thing that we're doing, stacking our, our uh, wealth right here, you know what I mean? Holding our own wealth in our hands and uh, getting rid of Big Brother out of our lives. I think it's very important. Anyways, um, I got to go for now. And uh, I don't know if you like to see it, but um, I, I guess I can show you a couple other. Um, let's see. There's a platinum piece right there. Let's show you a couple other little, just to sprinkle some on. There's some more uh, gold pieces that I have laying around, little 10 ounce pieces. And I think I have some other little collectibles too. A little collectible there, not a 10 ounce, but, you know, little odds and ends. Here's another little tiny Mexican piece. Just for, no, that's not a Mexican piece. What am I doing? That's actually a United States piece. That's a really cool one. That's a $1. You ever see that before? That's a $1 from 1853. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Little guy. Um, I think I have another Mexican piece in there somewhere. I got all kinds of crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Just laying around. Why not? Anyways, secure your wealth. Hold gold in your hands or put it in a plastic prison and then hold it like I like to do. I got to go for now, though. The gold challenge is complete. Spectacular. Hopes you completed it. If you didn't complete it, keep going. Uh, complete it into the future. For sure, try this out, and it could be the 2020 Gold Challenge. It could be the 2022, uh, 2023. It doesn't matter what year it is. You got to do it for yourself. Well, I guess it couldn't be 2020 because then you're going back in time. That wouldn't be okay because time traveling is is crazy. I got to go for now. Though spectacular is out. <laughs>